Hey what is going on everyone this is iReviews back with another video and today we're doing a follow up on iOS 13 beta 4. Now this beta has been released for a few days now so in this video I will talk more about its performance, the battery life and some new features and changes that I have been able to find on iOS 13 beta 4. First of all let's talk about performance. On that section iOS 13 beta 4 is really amazing. I had this update for a few days now on my device and it's buttery smooth. You will notice a huge improvement once you install this new beta on your device. The basically the glitches, the hangs, all that stuff when multitasking, app switcher, all that have been fixed and you will have a much much better experience using iOS 13 beta 4. And talking about the speed, that's really crazy. Now iOS 13 has been fast from the beginning from beta 1 but with beta 4 it's even better. Now launching apps on iOS 13 beta 4, the stock apps, is pretty crazy. So you can see right here I have all the apps closed in the background but if I try to open one of them you will see that they just open instantly just like I had them on the app switcher, they are ready to go. You can see they instantly load. The opening of the apps is crazy fast on iOS 13 beta 4. Even though this has been great since beta 1, but you can see a huge improvement with beta 4. Overall, the performance is really great. I'm really loving it. It's buttery smooth and very, very fast. Moving on to the battery life. Now, in my experience, all the betas have been the same. Since beta 1, I basically have experienced this same battery life. It's average, not great, not bad. It's basically average and it has been the same for me since beta 1. I didn't see any improvements with beta 4. It's not terrible, don't get me wrong, but it's not great as well. Now let's move on to some new features of iOS 13 beta 4. So you can see right here on the reminders app, if I want basically to add a reminder right here, it will suggest a date. So make a video on Wednesday. You can see right there if I tap that you will see it will show me the suggested date which I can go ahead and automatically add to the reminder directly from here. On the spotlight search if you're searching for something you will get now right here a suggestion for a Siri command. So I have been searching here face now it will show here hey Siri make a FaceTime call so you will have Siri commands right here on the spotlight search. Now I have not been able to replicate this but I got this from Reddit from a user on iOS beta. Now you will have a charge now button while charging your device with the new battery charging optimization feature if you have it enabled of course. It will show you right here this pop up scheduled to finish charging by 7 am but you will have the option to make it charge right now. On the photos app on iOS 13 when you're on the photos tab now you will see right here at the pictures there are collections of pictures of course it will show you these numbers which indicates how many pictures are there. You will get a new animation now with 3D touch you can see right there if I just basically move the finger here it will also move the icon so you will see right there the icon on the 3D touch menu will basically follow my finger as you can see right there it moves the icon as I move the finger. With 3D touch now you can easily move icons just 3D touch and start swiping up and you will immediately enter the edit mode. You can now go to settings, go to accessibility and under touch right here we'll find 3D and haptic touch settings and right here you can set the amount of pressure that you need to apply from light to firm and then right here you can also set this the duration of the touch. So basically this confirms that 3D touch is dead. Everything here confirms that you will see now you can just basically adjust here. This is a software way of making the 3D touch and 3D touch displays will basically be gone with the next iPhones. So that is it for this video guys. This is a quick follow up on iOS 13 beta 4, my experience with this beta and of course some new features and changes on iOS 13 beta 4. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead and subscribe for more and I'll see you on the next one.